How are you? Hi, thank you. Now, girls, uh, the last 12 months for you guys have been what? Amazing. Amazing? Yeah. Uh, Mel, this year must be brilliant for you. Yeah, definitely exciting and just really happy. Uh, what was it like joining the Sugar Babes? Amazing. My dream just come true. I've always wanted to do it and um, I love it. Now, answer me this question. Did you uh, have any posters of the Sugar Babes on your bedroom wall before you joined the band? My sister did. Right? Yeah. I don't think the girls really want to hear that. You should say that. Answer me this, right? Which of these following girl bands has had the most top ten hits? The Spice Girls, Banana Rama, Destiny's Child, <laughs> Shampoo, or the Sugar Babes? Oh, the Sugar Babes. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You're the most successful British girl band of the last 20 years. Congratulations. Thank you. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> What's happening now in the world of the Sugar Babes? Um, we've got a few weeks off over Christmas and New Year and right. uh, a tour. And, um, and then our new album this time next year. Yeah. You never stop. So tell us about tonight, who are you going to be duetting with and why? Um, we're going to be duetting with the fantastic Dusty Springfield. Yeah. 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 I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this. Why have you chosen Dusty Springfield, Keisha? Um, I just remember my mum playing her a lot when I was younger. Um, I love the song Spooky, um, um, Son of a Preacher Man. Yeah. I just, just, she's got an amazing soulful voice and she always loved the stage and was a great performer, so yeah. can't wait. Yeah. It's quite weird with Dusty Springfield. She's had more hits than you actually think Dusty yeah. Springfield has yeah. had, do you know what I mean? She's There's had so many songs that you don't, because people have covered them, you don't think that they're hair songs mm. and they yeah. are. Now, before you perform, let's see Dusty Springfield doing what she does best. <laughs> She was the white lady of soul, but her voice was unmatched in jazz, blues and pop. Born Mary O'Brien, her career started in her teens when she joined girl group the Lana Sisters. She went on to form the Springfields with her brothers. And then she established herself as a solo artist. Her voice couldn't be imitated, but her look set the agenda for what became classic 60s. How did you feel when you used to see all those Dusty Springfield lookalikes in the street? Because every girl copied it's you. Immensely flattering. Yeah. Yeah, they probably did much better than I did. She avoided the limelight for much of the 70s and 80s, but was caught back to the top of the charts by the Pet Shop Boys in 1987. In 1984, the film Pulp Fiction featured Dusty's classic Son of a Preacher Man and cemented her place in modern pop culture. At the time of her death, she'd been in showbiz for over 40 years and left a collection of work guaranteeing she'll be remembered as one of Britain's finest. in black and white. Please welcome our next duet, Impossible, the Sugar Babes and Dusty Springfield!
the Sugar Bears and Dusty Springfield.